How are you all doing? Welcome to Ogolia this page. Thank you so much for tuning in. In case you are just tuning in from the first time, I'm Ogo Hillary. I'm a social media expert and online business coach. I help business owners, network marketers, and entrepreneurs to be able to know their targeted market and prospect using an online business suit that can be used in all the social media platform to be able to generate leads and make more sales. I also assist investors. I can say some information if you're able to if you're interested in any of my online professional tools that will help you with the skills you need to know about attraction marketing. Thank you so much for tuning in for the first time. Today I want to share a topic. I'm so so excited about this topic. And the title of my topic is Where to Find the Hottest Prospect. Where to find the hottest prospect. I'll be taking on you on the part one of it. Where to find the hottest prospect. Where to find the hottest prospect. Where to find the hottest prospect who has already proven to buy or join you, meaning they are already qualified and have a high likelihood of joining your business or buying your products. This actually was inspired by something I was watching over. It was a social media summit with a bunch of top people in the network marketing space who have built or have experience building through social media. It was a pretty cool experience watching them sharing great new, new things. By and large, with over 99% of what they said, I completely agree with them, especially at that level of recruiting. If you're primarily using social media as a code marketing strategy to go after the code market, and that stuff is then totally make, making sense. There was one thing that was said that I completely disagree with. The idea of building a brand came up. It was mentioned that you may want to build a brand around a passion. And the reason you want to build a brand around a passion is because you can create a community of people who know you, like you, and trust you. One example was given as yoga niche, or whatever thing you are passionate about, or passionate about, or using that audience for your network marketing niche or business. That was recommended. This idea of building a brand around yoga and somehow leveraging that to bring people into your business just didn't make any sense to me unless you are going to build your business through that niche. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever passion you, you are, be it baseball, football, Lakers, whatever the idea of you building a brand in something that's completely unrelated to what you are trying to build for the most part of business, that makes sense. So people will be able to do that. It seems like a massive shift and distraction away from what you are currently trying to to do. I don't know if that person that said this is stuck old school for a while and complained that building online is a distraction. Unless you are going to build a business in that, I don't recommend that. I don't recommend you building a, a brand and following it in a different arena because that is like building another business. Especially if you don't intend to monetize it. You're just doing it to bring audience to you. It doesn't make any sense. If you're not going to make any money from it, it doesn't, it's just a huge distraction. And that person will only end up doing only that and not actually building a networking marketing business. It makes no sense building a brand around yoga or baseball or Lakers, Lakers fan. Think that just people will be qualified to be in your network marketing business. This didn't make any sense. I will share with you the five kind of people that have the likelihood of joining your network marketing business and are very likely to build large teams in their organization. In any marketing, there's essentially five levels of people. I mean in any marketing, there's essentially five levels of people in that market that you may want to consider going after. In any market, Let's say you have a weight loss or skincare, or you want to attract people into your network marketing business. Basically, opportunity seekers. 
the people in the opportunity space, the first level in that market will be the coolest. And these other people that don't know they have a problem, these are the people that are not willing to do anything about what ailing them. In their life, if they are overweight, they will say I'm big and there's nothing I can do about it. In the skincare, let's say in the skincare market, maybe they have um, blemish, blemishes on, in their face and they cannot look at it, probably because I'm getting old. They are not ready to do anything about it. In our market, the opportunity people are people that don't even realize that they need to make extra income. They are expecting Uncle Sam to take care of their needs or taking their job is going to be there forever. No rush, no urgency. They want to make any drastic changes. If you invite these people to an opportunity presentation, they are not going to take it seriously or take any action. It's, not for, it's just not for them. They are not in any pain. They don't think that there's a problem to be solved yet. And number two, in any marketing, we try to go after everybody. The biggest segment of any market are the coolest markets. The biggest segment of any market are the coolest markets. The majority of people you are going to be talking with, I mean your warm and cold market, are the coolest people. That is the reason you deal with so much, so much rejection. That is the reason you deal with so much rejection. If you are using old school methods to build, even though you are using social media and you are trying to expand your base of people to talk to using cold market strategy in social media, still the majority of people you are going to be interacting with are the coolest people. They don't really know that they have a problem. That is the coolest portion of the market. The, that is the biggest portion of the marketing. These are the unaware people. These are the unaware people. Number three. Then the number three. Then the next level are the info seekers. These people that are seeking information. These are people that are seeking information. They realize that they have a problem and they need to solve it. So they start digging information on what potentially can solve their problem. These are info seekers. These are info seekers. They have not invested in any problem, in any business yet. Well, they are searching for information. They are probably doing some Google searches on how to use weight, how to lose 10 pounds, maybe next week, or something like that. So they are searching for information. They are not committed yet. They have not bought anything yet. But they are searching for information in our space. These are the opportunity seekers. These are people that are actually thinking, hey, I need to make more money. Hey, I wonder what I can do. They have not invested anything. They don't have any business mindset. These are the info seekers. They have not committed yet. They have not made any investment on the business. But they are searching for information. They are taking, to, they are taking their time to search for information. They have not made any commitment yet. They have not made their mind to go into any, any business yet. They are, they are not willing yet to join any business. But they are searching for information. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in acquiring any of these skills, you can click it on the link below to get your 10 days bootcamp. You can also visit my page or go heal out. You click on the demo. Opting to get your 10 days boot camp. I mean your free 10 days boot camp. You can also visit on my YouTube channel. Or go heal out. You can click on the link below to get your 10 days free boot camp. Stay tuned for part two on where to find the hottest prospects. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you.